Hey all, welcome back. Check out this clip of Brian Stelter using a clip from a left-wing fake news comedy show to characterize the Freedom Convoy and the wide range of people supporting it as radicalized. I was just Googling that old quote from John Stuart Mill. He talked about your rights end where my nose begins. So like your freedom sometimes infringes on others' freedom. And I think, Donnie, what, we, what you've seen in, 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 uh, in Canada is others are fearful of these protesters who are arguing for freedom. Right? No. We're gonna get right back to mashing tater, but first give me 30 seconds for this quick capitalism break. Man, this year is whizzing by already, isn't it? You're a year closer to retirement, but are your savings a year closer? If you're not and you're worried you won't make it, get in touch with Noble Gold about putting precious metals in your IRA or 401k. You won't get hassled, they'll just lay out your options. And this month, they're gifting a free 1 10th ounce solid gold American Eagle coin with any qualifying plan you start. So call 877-646-5347 or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you can use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure you tell them Drone Tech sent you. And I think, Donnie, what, we, what you've seen in, 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 uh, in Canada is others are fearful of these protesters who are arguing for freedom. Freedom? That's just far-right rhetoric. As always, unless it's a protest pushing a left-wing Democrat Party agenda, then it's not legitimate. And what you're seeing Brian Stelter try to do here is say that these people are infringing on other people's freedom, so it's not legitimate. And not just illegitimate, but it's making other people fearful. I just find it so baffling because CNN themselves promoted and protected violent protests to the point that Chris Cuomo straight up said that protests aren't supposed to be be polite or peaceful. And please show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful, because I can show you that outraged citizens are the ones who have made America what she is and led to any major milestones. And if you remember at the time, Democrat polling numbers were really low and it was being blamed on the violence from BLM and other left-wing protests. So of course, the media had to put out a rationalization for why violence was different when they were doing it. It got to such an absurd level that even when the mob that CNN had cultivated attacked their headquarters, they tried to downplay it. <sighs> These officers are being confronted and the, these demonstrators, they know, they know what's on the other side of this. You have some people are laughing, some people are videotaping. They just threw something on fire, Chris, a firecracker. Yep. Something's on fire. Nick, you all right? Yep. They just threw a firecracker in on us. That was, what was that? They did the exact same thing when these left-wing extremists were attacking their own reporters. These people burned down businesses, blocked highways, attacked drivers, and they even entered suburban areas and demanded that white people give up their homes and that they had no right to feel safe. So it's hard for me to believe that I've even survived hearing a CNN host claim that a bunch of peaceful protesters are making people fearful. Because of some of the fringe rhetoric, can we play the Daily Show clip for a second? This was you appearing on the Daily Show and then Trevor Noah had a reaction. Yes, a supposedly serious newsman on a supposedly serious newscast actually used a clip from The Daily Show, a fake news left-wing comedy show, to prove how horribly monstrous these peaceful protesters are. This must be something really bad. And because you're not vaccinated, have you, is there business, is there stuff you can't do in Canada now? Yeah, like, I, I'm like, I'm like, well basically, if you want to compare Canada uh, to anything, it's like uh, Hitler, Germany, and we're like the Jews, eh? You see, this is why we shouldn't be banning books. <laughs> I can't say it better than Trevor Noah. What was the joke? Was that a real laugh, Brian? <laughs> I see a lot of irony here, don't you? I mean, for one, the fact that Trevor Noah is suggesting that this guy making that comparison means that people need to learn more about history, like he doesn't get history. I'd suggest that it's the people who are ignoring similarities to things that happened in the run-up to the Holocaust that actually need to learn some history. This is not the Holocaust, but many of us are seeing a disturbing change in the way that the government and its supporters are treating not just people questioning COVID mandates, but anyone who questions the left, the Democrat Party, or the government at all. I can't say it better than Trevor Noah. Yeah, look, and I mean, there is, that, that's a really big part of, of what we're seeing there. And, and the re that just doesn't come from anywhere, right? Because that, 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 that terrible historical inaccurate comparison, uh, we've heard members of Congress here repeated. One guy makes this comparison, and somehow now it's an indictment on anybody who opposes continuing COVID mandates.
And of course, what we're supposed to get from this segment is that anybody making a Holocaust comparison is a horrible person and lacks any credibility, right? That, that, that terrible, historical, inaccurate comparison. Uh, we've heard members of Congress here repeat it. Come to think of it, you know who else has made these kind of comparisons? To suggest those of concentration camps, families being cut apart. I know children are being marched away to showers. I know they're being marched away to showers. Uh, are they uh, being told they are just like the Nazis had, had, had said that they were taking people oh. to showers and then they never came back. Look, bottom line, Donald Trump increasingly looks like Hitler in Nazi Germany. He's looked like <laughs> concentration Dave, camps. Dave, it's rewarding it breaking our immigration laws. unusual punishment, John. I said this yesterday, but increasingly Donald Trump is turning this nation into Nazi Germany and turning these into concentration camps. The, what's happening is very American in that this is how the country was founded. This is what happened 76 years ago to uh, Japanese Americans in internment camps. Now look, I, I, I know we're not Nazi Germany, all right? But there is a commonality there. I knew it would be controversial, but I felt a warning flare was Obviously, necessary. You're so, so concerned about what's going on. Yeah. And our, all, all of us are so concerned. We see these heartbreaking images, uh, and it's, it's so, so awful. And this is a policy that is inhumane, indecent, un American, completely dictatorial. And like I said yesterday, they are the tactics that have been used through, the, through history by the worst purveyors of pure evil, including slave traders, including Nazis, including terrorists. Do I even need to say it? That's all I have for that. Still recovering for whatever I've had for the last few days. I hope you all enjoyed it. So please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us know what you think.